from racing carnivals are you know, an absolute uh, signature event for, for Sydney and New South Wales and we reckon that if we can create uh, some, some new aspects of the autumn racing carnival like stable of stars then uh, we can elevate the whole thing and bring back a bit of the glamour. Walk us through what you're wearing tonight. Walk you through it, I'm wearing Alex Perry, um, which he always does an amazing evening gown, so it was really no question as to who I was going to hunt down for a dress for tonight. And I have Jan Logan jewels. Check these out. Quite special, aren't they? Well, aren't they? They're gorgeous. Very spoiled. They're all here to enjoy horse racing and uh, get a feel for what it's like to uh, hopefully one day own a racehorse. So we've got some of the best trainers, uh, some existing owners and some of the best horses we've paraded here tonight. And we want people from outside of the industry, the celebrities, the sporting stars, the business leaders, to see what horse racing and horse ownership's all about and, get, and become part of it. We, we, we enjoy designing for the races. We think it's part of, you know, it's what's happened in the past 10 years with the races becoming like the night time of the daytime the daytime of the night time in a way it's just everyone dresses up to, to enjoy themselves and jewelry's a big part of that what did they do with hats this year i haven't seen my good friend neil grigg yet so i have no idea well this year it's, you know, there's still the very vintage, um, classic, beautiful hill boxes we're still seeing and the cloche style, which is very much in. But it's all about the cute, um, you know, vintage inspired hat, more so than a fascinator. Well, I know we're going into the autumn winter carnival, but it's hard to still deny the colour. Like we could all go in our flannel and our felt and our grey, but we're not in Europe, right? I mean, we still need to have colour, a bit of flirtation. I know you don't want to dress like you're going to a nightclub, but you still want to be sexy. But I think people love an excuse to dress up, you know, and uh, racing's exactly that. And uh, I think the challenge for us is to, is to do it in a way that's uh, a little bit different. Uh, to, to keep a quality about it and, uh, and you know, these sorts of events I think are a great way to mark the start of a new autumn racing carnival.